Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ES Trading Mentors free trading video for Thursday, November 5th, 2009. Today we had a total of four executable trade signals for a maximum potential of two ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups to give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning right at uh, 10.51.50, made a brief move down towards the pivot, uh, but that didn't last very long. We actually found support uh, on the top side of one of our uh, confluence zones here, and we started trading higher, traded right up through our moving average, and this move was so quick, we did not even get a chance for a pullback uh, to get into one of our trades. So we just watched this thing trade from one of our support zones all the way up to one of our resistance zones. We call them junkie bands found resistance at that top junkie band briefly, traded sideways, got up to our previous day's highs, came back down through our moving average there. We actually got a signal to get short uh, as we crossed underneath our moving average right around, uh, oh, 1020 or so. And uh, unfortunately for us, that was a full stop out. Uh, lost uh, 14 ticks on that between the two contracts. But on that stop out, uh, so many times, we pulled back, we had a small swing, we got the opportunity to get long, and we actually broke out to the north side of that junkie band and uh, ended up taking targets one and targets two for eight ticks to the upside. Basically uh, kept going up from there. It was a very bullish day as you know and uh, that was a very quick move. We moved about two-thirds way up towards our next band. Actually uh, 1045 confirmation time we kinda got a slight reversal but basically it was just a sideways chop area and then going into 1115 we got uh, a cross down beneath our, our moving average once again right before the lunchtime dead zone and we got a signal to get short. That signal did produce targets one and targets two to the downside for 10 ticks going into lunch. Now we don't take trades between 11.30 and 1.15. That's what we call the dead zone. And uh, we do that. We don't take trades there because volume lightens up and uh, sometimes volatility increases and, and it's just uh, a lower probability time of frame, but uh, time frame to trade. But coming outside of uh, lunch, we actually um, did move higher, moved up towards our upper resistance area at that uh, northern junkie band, pulled back down to our lower band, bounced off it, got a signal to get short, got our first contract off, but did not get any follow through. The market uh, was definitely in a, in a bullish mood today and it uh, bounced higher, took us out of our other contract for a two tick loss. So basically it was uh, a quick short and sweet day from the fact that we didn't have a whole lot going on, only four trades today, but uh, nonetheless produced two ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room, our video newsletter, please visit us at eminijunkie.com. Thanks, and make it a great day.